Greetings, my fellow Sardiners. Today, while having already reviewed the Nuri Sardines in Tomato Sauce, which was the best sardines I have ever had in my nearly 22 years of being a sardine enthusiast, I was so pleased and excited by that review that I'm also going to review the Spiced Sardines in Olive Oil, also by Nuri. Now, I'm very excited for this one, almost even more than the last one. So, what makes it spiced? Ingredients. <clears throat> Sardines, olive oil, cucumber, this is the first one, cucumber, chili, carrot, salt, cloves, black pepper, and laurel. Oh my goodness. That is going to be delicious. With the chili, adding the heat to it, and then the cucumber, the carrots, the cloves, and the laurel, really adding to the flavor of it. And the black pepper, too. I'm very excited. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. So, best before. 2025, so we're still ahead of the curve. Product of Portugal, as we've already been over. Let's see if I can butcher the name again. Product of Metastinos, Portugal. Net weight, 3.17 ounces. Also interestingly, they have the drained weight, which is 2.29 ounces, 65 grams. So there is 25 grams of um, olive oil in this can. I'm very, very excited for this. You may not be able to tell. Anyway, look at this packaging again. I think this packaging is just so pretty. It has all of the little chilies on the side to show that it is, it is spiced chili, or I'm sorry, spiced sardines. Let's get it rolling. So, <clears throat> I always feel a little uh, guilty right now, ruining this beautiful little packaging that uh, Mama Portugal made, knowing that they, in fact, did this plastic wrap by hand makes me, in return, want to be very respectful while taking the packaging off. However, I am not a virtuous man, so my patience is beginning to run low. Even when, since I was a child, it has not been to my virtue, okay? Well, here's our first bit of critique. You could use uh, Nuri, speaking directly to you and your representative. You could use a little bit higher quality tape because we got it. Okay. And so here we are, Nuri. And then with the tape off, oh, we're stuck. And then we source connect here. Flip. And then flip. And off it goes. To bathe with the sardines in the ocean, I'm sure. I love this little wax paper wrap they put on here. Really, really adds to it. What does this say? Asian command. Oh, it's just who it's imported by to the U.S. Some California company. They are irrelevant. Only Nuri is relevant here. <clears throat> so, as we can see, the same can. Pinhais Portugal. 
the same little can here. I'm sure they use the same can for all their products when it comes to the sardines anyway. So we have our nice, nice little uh, plastic, uh, or not plastic, it's actually wax paper. It's actually very high quality, I will say. And in fact, like I said before, this is all packed by hand from sardine to wrap to second wrap. Really, really shows in the end quality, I must say. So, here we are. I'm sure you guys are well versed in this by now. Ooh, interesting. So, instantly, there are many more sardines in here. However, they are not as large as the ones that were in the tomato sauce. So, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the smell, oh my goodness, that smells, aro it smells aromatic, you can smell it instantly, that has to be the cloves, oh my goodness, the smell of the cloves, oh my goodness, wow, you can really smell the cloves instantly a little bit of the black pepper you can smell but most of it is the cloves so as i was saying instantly what i can see is that there are a lot more sardines in here individual ones but they're much smaller than the ones that were in the uh, tomato sauce let's get one hmm. oh wow okay they're also breaking apart a little bit here and honestly it kind of looks like these have been roughed up a little bit there's one in the middle here that is missing a lot of its skin you can see that on the or the left side right side whatever part of the camera that is um and the one i picked up here really started to split it, it split apart along the spinal cord and the front half it started to break off so i got a little nervous um let's try a little bit oh wow Ooh. oh wow mm. oh well, goodness wow okay so the first thing I tasted were the cloves. The cloves and the laurel, instantly tasted those. Oh wow, it's a little spicy. Um, yeah, so the chili, so the black pepper hits you instantly, spice-wise, and then the chili is what stays with you. I'm still feeling it. They're, they're, these, these are, they're not incredibly spicy by any means, but they definitely have a little kick to them. They're, they're actually quite good. Um, mm, that was really good. Ooh, we have a little spine here, a little bit of the spine. Very hard instantly. A lot of you really, when you get your sardines, you really want it to have the skin on and not and have bones. You don't want skinless and boneless like fillets. You do not want that. They while well, they while well, they'll taste okay, you lose so much nutritional value without the skin and the bones, because the skin and the bones have so much calcium and vitamin D in it that it really really loses a lot of its nutritional power when you do that. Also, I I personally think too it loses flavor. These have a very unique taste. 
when I think Mediterranean, this is really what I think. Mmm. 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 This combination of spices is so interesting. It's kind of, I wonder if you can see it on the bottom here. Oh, was that a cucumber? Okay, so here, yep, yeah, there is a physical cucumber underneath all of these. I'm going to have to get a few more sardines out of the way. Here, let's start with this one. I'm going to get this one that has a bunch, a lot of the skin missing. As you can see here on the top. Not too, it's not as bad as on the other side, but it still has a little missing. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, man. These are so delicious. I don't know. I don't know whether, which one I like more. I feel like I can't decide what, <clears throat> excuse me, these are kind of spicy. <clears throat> I don't know which I like more. The spice sardines and olive oil or the, or the sardines and tomato sauce. They both have such a unique flavor. However, I will say this. The ones in tomato sauce are much more fishy, sardiny. Um, so because the tomato sauce serves to accentuate the flavor of the sardine more so than overtake it. But the, these, the spice sardines... The sardines are more of a, a vessel for which all these spices inhabit and are allowed to ride to your mouth, to your taste buds, and just sheer pleasure. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Nary, nary. The best around. Goodness gracious. They have so many different types of... Um, sardines they sell out of this company nuri if i were if i were a richer man if i were a richer man my fellow sardiners i would eat these every day these are so good these are so unbelievably good mm. Mm. i will say this I like, I don't know if these were just because of what, what, the, what the catch of the day was on these particular days for these cans, but I really, really liked the, the sardines that were in the tomato sauce because those sardines, there were, there were three of them. I'm sorry. There were four of them and they were so, so thick. They were very long. They took up the whole can. And they were probably half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch thick. Had so much meat on them. They were firm, didn't break at all. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my God. These are so good. These are so good. They're so spicy. Not just, not even hot, picante, okay? Not even that. Well, well, they are that. They are, they do have kick to them. But this combination of spices they have is unbelievable. It, it accentuates the flavor. Because like you get the slight saltiness of the sardine, but then you get just the rest of the flavor from all of it. And the sardine has really picked up these spices simply through osmosis because it's been sitting in this can with this olive oil. And I can actually see, I can actually see in the can 
and I'll show you, my sardiners, I'll show you. Each, each ingredient that they listed on there, I can physically see in the can. So like here's a carrot, there's the clove, the piece of the chili pepper. It's all it's all sitting in the can. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hmm. I was so excited for this because that the tomato sauce one was so good. So like you can see here, that's the chili pepper. Am I brave enough to eat it? Hmm. Okay. That's what's happening. So it had a little bit of flavor left in that specific piece, which means the flavor of that chili pepper has been completely dispersed through the whole can, which is why this is so good. Which is why this is so good. Here is the um, the carrot. Not a base fan carrot, so I'll skip that one. <clears throat> Here is the. What is this? Excuse me. This is the the laurel. A little bit of bay leaf here. <clears throat> uh, where was that little clove piece? The, the clove pieces are a little small. So I, can, I don't know if I'll be able to really get in there. Yeah, I can't get that out. But the, the clove piece is very small because clove is very strong. So you don't want a lot of it at all. Um, here's the piece of the cucumber. So it's not, they don't add the flavoring, you know, dust or whatever because usually they say garlic or something <clears throat> that just means they put a little garlic concentrate dust whatever if they put an ingredient on here there is a physical piece in this can sardine there's your sardine cucumber there's the cucumber right you want laurel there's your laurel you want your carrot there's your carrot and because they do that, this the oil it just while that while you may think there's the carrot, no, there is the carrot. It is in this entire can. The every where wherever the oil is is where the flavors are. And so these sardines are just completely covered. And these wonderful flavors. Mm. I'm going to put these on sandwiches. My other can. I mean, so, so good. So good. I would like, I would like to thank Mary for keeping up their wonderful traditions because after a little bit of, um, research, um, they are start, they are struggling just because the, the nature of the certain industry has dropped the canning, especially, but I hope they go nowhere anytime soon because this leaving the world would be a, a, a net negative. This, this food is wonderful. I have had a wonderful time reviewing it. Yeah, um, I highly recommend you watch the Food Insider video on how they can make catch can produce and ship every can because i think this company is wonderful i think their product is delicious and i'm just pleased i'm more so content than pleased i'm content that i was able to experience this 
and I'm pleased that I'm able to share this experience with you guys. And and I'm I'm, I'm without words. That was just wonderful. I would like to thank the Portuguese grandmother who put this together for us. And um, until next time, my sardiners. Have a good one.